What's up, folks? There's nothing better to do. It's your boy, Blockzilla. You're watching the No Judgment Zone. Today, I have the guys of brotherly love with me. Uh, what's uh, up, y'all? Corey Hardrick. Um, hey, what's going on? I'm Eric DL. What's up? It's your man, Julito McCullough. <laughs> Hold on, we're late though. Yeah. Yo, what? you guys in this new film, it looks really, really good. Why don't one you guys tell everyone the premise of the film? Um, <laughs> so, uh, so Brotherly Love is about family. And uh, it focuses in on a specific group of people in Philadelphia who are trying to do what's right for their respective families. It's just the fact that, you know, they live in a neighborhood that's entrenched in violence. So making the right decision can be a difficult one, you know. And uh, I play the younger brother of June, Taylor. Uh, who's Corey Hartridge's character, and the twin brother of Kiki Palmer's character, uh, Jackie Taylor, who is, um, you know, just trying to stay in school and um, and just complete the goal that we have of making it to the NBA, so that I can take him out of the streets, because that's the way that he's providing providing for the family financially. And um, I, and I'm the uh, antagonist of the film. Um, June's character, Corey's character, June. He's, he's, he's going through his choices of what he wants to do in his life. He has to provide for his family, so he's in a survival mode, And but he still has those street ties, and my character is a character that we just, we, we're on two ends of the, uh, of the of the hood and we just we don't see eye to eye right. so that conflict comes from that so you get to play a tough guy in this one yeah so i think back to the why and i think he's <laughs> gonna be a tough guy it turns out. Nah. but the thing about the wise character he, he he wasn't tough but he he wasn't tough because he had to make that choice that's why i love to, to, to take films that these characters have choices to make you see it and not not all the time i have to play tough i yeah. mean you know i'm from brooklyn i lived that life and but I'm not, you know, I, I love to show the other sides of the of our community. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, cool. Now you, we always see you as a soldier. Yeah. You know, now you're playing this this bad guy <laughs> who's like, you look, yo, you give some stairs in that in the trailer, and I'm just like, I yeah. might have been scared too. <laughs> what was it like getting to play, you know, uh, you know, man, this guy? It was good because it was different, man. Like I said, I'm used to doing all the other movies, you know. That was uh, a hero a lot of yeah, times. Yeah, man, I'm always doing them characters, but I felt like it was time to do something more in tune with my my people, mm. like my culture. You know, mm. you got to start with the culture, I believe, before you take it to the masses. But I went the other way around, so I'm coming back to the culture, and I love it, man. It's a great film. Um, I grew up in the environment that was like the film that we shot in West Philly, me being from the south side of Chicago, and uh, it's gritty, man, it's dramatic, it's, uh, it's, it's cats I knew in my family, outside the family, with the different relationship arcs in the film, and then my character, like I said, he's the provider, father figure, uh, we lose our dad, so I gotta take care of my mother who's sick. Played by Macy Gray. Shout out to Macy Gray. Shout out to me. Shout uh, out to Macy. Macy Gray old enough to play people's mother. Man. Isn't that crazy? Time That's how changed. time flies. But bro. makeup does well too. Okay. You know, makeup can help out too, man, yeah. with that. Mm -hmm. But um, like I say, it's a it's a great family film, but it, it has everything in it that people will love. Our folks, and that's what's most important to me. How is it working with Kiki? You guys, uh how how was that? Kiki was great. She's a professional and she um she takes her work serious, uh triple threat, she does music. Talk shows, act, and what she does on set, man. She do it all, man. She and she's she was the uh, I I feel she was the rock of of the whole situation, man. Having someone so talented like these guys all put their heart into the film mm -hmm. and give their their all to it, it just made everybody else give their all, want to yeah. give their all because they're yeah. they, you know these people are passionate about it, and I feel indie projects are where you can give that life to your films, and that's what you'll see on Brotherly Love. I mean, you guys have all over to promote this movie mm -hmm. yeah. which place got the liveest i gotta say um you gonna say chicago don't i'm gonna say chicago I'm gonna, oh. say, I'm gonna say chicago philly was crazy philly was philly was, philly was so crazy <clears throat> that the cast didn't even get a chance to see how crazy it was like they yeah. brought us through a special back entrance to the movie theater because if yeah. we would have gone through the way that we were supposed to it would have been a zoo like i didn't even get a chance to see it but they said that philly showed up to support this film because this is their yeah. film yeah this is for i mean it's at the end of the day it's for us all white black whatever color you are but this philly is a, it's a character of the philly, film you know city of brotherly love mm -hmm. you know you got yeah. the rocky statue in right. there yep. you got overbrook where will smith went will chamberlain and we shot at the school he played on the basketball team we yeah. shot in that area yep. 
cats was the community. The cats was shooting down the street when we were shooting for real. <laughs> nah, you know, that's real, man. <laughs> but you know what? That's, that's what makes great art, man. Art ain't supposed to look pretty, man. It's dirty. Now, I know you're working on Gossip Coat Project. So can you talk yeah. about that? Uh, yeah, of course I can. I know you have been shooting up here on the East Coast. Is it in Boston? Yeah, Rhode Island. Oh, Rhode Island? Rhode Island, Boston. I finished uh, here. It's called uh, November Criminals with Corey Morat and Enzo Eckhart. Mm -hmm. It's in that Insurgent. Um, I got uh, Spectral coming out next summer for Legendary. That's going to be another big one. Kind of like Sniper, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. Fighting Ghosts. Uh, Destin this fall. Car Dogs with Octavia Spencer this summer. And Walk of Fame with Scott Ooh. Eastwood this summer. It's working. It's working. Working. It's working. It's working. It's it's working. Let's check. Working. Look, I got a couple business items. I'm just playing. <laughs> um, Give it to me. Let me ask you a question. Being okay. from The Wire and, and, ha and being from that academy of great actors, right. uh, how does it feel for those to be your brothers? Do you feel like a little bit of pressure? To, to, to do more from from the wire cast Cause, yeah because the wire cast um, all going on to do man, a lot of stuff it's, it's like when I shot the wire man I didn't realize how historical it was going to be until I I sat back and, and watched it hmm. and uh, those dudes man they, like they're all going to come to the premiere in New York uh, the screening in New York they're, they're, we're, it's like family it's like family where you got a group of people that are willing to support each other and it's just like brotherly love you know I, I knew Eric for a minute I got to meet Corey doing this project and it's always been like love mm -hmm. it's been love and and now it was you know I've been blessed to work on projects where it's family oriented and not just work and then we out and I never see you again yeah. so that's what so I mean it's always pressure man it, it's like being on a good basketball team man I'm gonna put you on the spot <laughs> um, you said it's family oriented orientated mm. uh, the guy who played Dookie I forgot his name yeah uh, he's doing music Crow, now Crow. have you heard his music I've heard one song. Yeah. I've heard one song. Jermaine, I think he's in the process of finding himself music wise. You know, he uh he came from the church. Okay. So he has that background. So he's trying to find himself. I'm like I just remember sitting with with Mac. Shout out to Mac Wiles. I remember sitting with him on a ride to Bo to Baltimore. He said, Yeah, I think I wanna sing. So to see what they're doing now and they're finally mm -hmm. given that, you know, mm -hmm. it's dope. It's yeah. dope. I support it. Super cool. Now, uh personal question. The Wire, for everyone, The Wire or Breaking Bad? Because people have this debate, those are the best two shows ever to be on television. Mm -hmm. Do you think The Wire or Breaking Bad, which one are you going with? Oh uh, man, I gotta be honest, I ain't gonna, because I tell the truth. Mm -hmm. I really, I really, I didn't watch Breaking Bad at mm -hmm. all. I, I didn't watch Breaking Bad it. either. And I saw The Wire a few times and it was great. So I wasn't like a faithful watcher, so mm -hmm. I didn't, I don't know a lot of the conversations people be talking mm -hmm. about. But from what I saw, I would mm -hmm. have to say The Wire. The Wire. Yeah, it was a great show. There's another There's another thing that I like. It's, it's called Brotherly Love. love that comes out. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really good. But look, like, this movie like takes you back, bro, to like Menace, Boys in the Hood, Juice, uh, Love and Basketball. It takes you back to them We're old bringing that films. feeling back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a feeling. It's a gritty it's black and white film feeling. And uh, I feel like this is some of, I'm, I feel like this is my best work. Mm. And this is, they did some great work, but I let them speak on what they feel. Mm. But I feel like, you know what, the black, the hood gonna be like, this nigga's ready. Yo, yeah. speak on him, yo, Corey killed that, bro. Killed it. That's they what they like, no lie. To watch these two work, man, you know, you know I just came and did my part as a, as a support. Nah, but you part. crushed that, nah, bro. Come on, don't, don't, even, even, don't yeah. even play that Appreciate game. Appreciate that. Thank yeah. you, but you too. And I'm not just saying that because we on camera. These two really, you're gonna see these two in a total different light and, um, I'm proud to have worked with y'all. Thank you. Cause y'all killed that. Y'all killed that. Y'all killed that. Okay. You said it's like a uh, menace. Boys, boys in the hood. Juice. How well do you know Menace in Society? Uh, those are classics. I know the movies well. Lorenz, Lorenz actually spoke on it. Really? Like, when we were at Lorenz the LA premiere. LA premiere. He was at the LA premiere. Fox, Tyree, he came up to me. He was like, bro, this is, yeah. like, he's like, what y'all are doing, this reminds me of what we did, mm -hmm. man. Like, oh, yeah, and that was, Lorenz that was huge, town, bro. Man. He gonna tell you That was real. huge. They good. were there. And Puffy introduced it, remember? Yeah. Him and Terrence J seen it already, so they introduced it. That's what's yeah. up. Did Puffy he show me some love, man. What's up, y'all? You here with the cast of Brotherly Love right here. We here chilling with GlobalGrind.com. Yeah, Peace. brotherly love the movie in, in theaters, theaters right now. You yeah. see that? Classic, man. This nigga, yeah, it's not. This nigga can't even talk like that. How the fuck you say exceptional shit? Her fix. The look on her face when you surprise her with. All right. <laughs>